Hello everybody, Shrouded Hand here, and I'm going to do one of those videos where I look back on the uh, strange news stories that have hit the headlines recently, and uh, I had a quick look and I feel like there's quite a lot of ghost stories to get through, so um, that'll be fun, I do like a good ghost story. I know I always come across as quite cynical on these videos, I'm actually quite open-minded to the existence of the paranormal in general, and I really like it as a subject. I just find the stories that these news articles cover are always a bit suspect. So yeah, if I come across as cynical, I, I, I give these stories a, a fair shake. I go into them open-minded, I just find myself disappointed a lot of the time. So anyway, let's take a look. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised today. I doubt it though. Mum reckons she found Jesus in a Brussels sprout days before Christmas. Oh, okay. Dog owner spots Donald Trump's face in pet's ear, complete with blonde hairdo. Let's take a look. Uh, okay. Quite like it, I suppose. I'm, I'm, I'm here for ghost videos, though, not weird things that look like other things. Okay, here we go. This one's going to be good. Hospital patient terrified after eerie figure stares at her from air vent in ceiling. Oh, God. I'm spooked just by the uh, the headline. Kit Williams said her mother-in-law felt like something was looking at her at the Queensland Hospital in Brisbane and looked up to find a weird figure that would blink, move and look around the room. She felt like something was looking at her shortly before noticing a mysterious figure in the air vent and while she was sleeping she could feel people touching her and waking her up. Okay and there's the photo. So I, I wish it was a bit more high quality. I wonder if I can google search and find a higher quality image. No, sadly not. Okay, so I guess this is the best image we're getting. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit on this thing. Yeah, I like it. I like that picture a lot. <laughs> I don't know if it's a ghost. Could look like there's two eyes here peering out. I mean, it, possibly they accidentally took a picture of the ceiling, noticed something weird in there, and then made up a spooky story to, to sort of get people interested on the internet. But I quite like this one. She would think the nurses were coming around to check her as she could feel people touching her, waking her up but there was nobody there. It looks like this could be a nose and then there's eyes. It looks kind of cartoony, but I don't know, maybe there's just something in the vents that kind of looks like that because you can see something else over here that looks the same sort of flesh tone. So I, I can't say I'm completely convinced that there was a creature up there, but um, I love this story. I think it's just creepy in its own right. Just the, the tale of a, a woman feeling as if something was watching her and something was crawling around in the vent and then this picture emerges and it, yeah I, I i whether it's real or not i like it anyway you know what i mean oh why do why do i get so many i need to get an ad blocker honestly ghost lingers near abandoned house's window after owner dies in chilling pictures tyler thornton received the photos from his mum who's freaked out when he pointed out the apparent outline of a figure in the window of their port victoria home in australia hey australia's coming through with the ghost stories recently it's a, a low quality image there's a lot of like artifact around all the windows you know you could see a face in any one of these random blobs of compressed jpeg artifacts it does i mean it does if I, if I squint a bit it does look like a figure like this could be the neck and the the, the shape of a face yeah nicer if it was a bit more high quality but um yeah it's okay i suppose yep yep now let's try this one here this uh, might be good dog owner rewatches pet cam and spots ghost of pooch on the day she died mysterious footage shows a cloud-like object appear on a pet camera the same day a heartbroken dog owner lost her beloved canine companion of more than 12 years oh clearly a feather i don't know what to tell you it's it's clearly a feather who whoever's telling this person that it's a ghost also why am i constantly getting that adverts about cleaning earwax i mean there's some big brain takes in the comments of these videos the film should be thoroughly examined by experts to exclude the case of a hoax I mean, it's, it's a feather probably it's some kind of camera regulating malfunction it's a feather i mean this person's got so worked up they've left three different comments <laughs> Only those above mentioned university researchers, specialists, slash expertise <laughs> can unbiased fully substantiate if a case is really a paranormal one or not. It's a feather. 
None of that. I like the pun already. Spooked woman almost runs out of a haunted house naked after spotting figure in the window. But what's really going on? It's that's Whoopi Goldberg. What the hell? That's clearly Whoopi Goldberg from Sister Act. Okay, I can. I, I've already debunked this. Oh no! <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Here it looked more like it didn't look so demonic, and now I've seen the actual picture. The spooky figure was in fact a reflection from a TV which was displaying a still from the 2019 movie A Nun's Curse. Does it sound bad to say that that does look like Whoopi Goldberg in that picture? Anyway, I'm sure Whoopi Goldberg's a massive fan of this channel and she's been highly offended by that. Let's look at something else, this one here. Terrifying moment, poltergeist shakes lamp as couple flee home where Catherine Hepburn once escaped haunted house. Okay, we've got a video, I like a video. Let's pause it here because whenever there's a ghost video, what immediately sends off hoax vibes to me is when there's lights going on and off. Because it's such a cliche and it's always so like convenient and it always these spooky videos always seem to start with a light going on and off as if to signify that there's paranormal activity about to happen. It sort of immediately sets off my hoax detector, so yeah, I don't know. Let's go back, watch it through. Light going on and off. Easily done. Someone off camera just flicking the the light off at the at the wall switch or whatever. Oh. It was on notorious LA land where screen goddess Catherine Hepburn once escaped her haunted house. So they apparently they put the cameras up after hearing mysterious banging and experiencing chills. Usually people do these things for money, but it says here they live in a multi-million dollar property. So unless they're hoaxing it just for attention, it kind of brings up the question, why would they do it? So actress Catherine Hepburn spent five years living at the original 1927 Hacienda style mansion before it was sold to Boris Karloff. The actress moved out as she was convinced it was haunted by a ghost, according to reports. I suppose it would be easy to fake, but that doesn't mean it is. Eerie figure appears in the background of a woman's TikTok video, leaving people utterly spooked. Here's another one. There's millions of these TikTok videos. Someone's dancing around, and then a figure runs past in the background. And when they look, there's nobody there. It's a TikTok trend. There's so many of them. I've sort of stopped giving them any attention. But let's let's watch this one. Might be. So for today's drink. God, these fucking pop-ups. Yeah, fake, 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 fake. Hey, look, her, her reaction is just... The fucking pop-ups, man. So, let me break down why this is bullshit. First of all, let's pretend we're setting up a, an innocent video where she's reviewing a drink and she's got a, a can of pop in her hand. But she immediately, even though she's clearly focusing on the drink in her hand, she immediately notices the, the movements behind her. You know, if you were just focusing on what you were doing, you, a little bit of movement in the curtains in the background, you wouldn't immediately look at it and think, wow, that's weird. You would just sort of brush it off as being motion from the wind. But imagine you're on your own in your house and you notice movement from behind a curtain like that your reaction wouldn't be to then run towards the threat and immediately attack the curtain. And also, the grabbing the curtain is a way to make it seem as if, like, look, there's nobody here. And a banana. It's uh, not that convincing, I'm afraid. Several figures have said they noticed a figure crawling away to the right of the frame. Let's watch that again. Okay, maybe, maybe we can spot that figure. So for today's drink... Oh yeah, you can see, you can see the you can see the person very clearly here. Watch here, as she gets to the curtain, and then here you can clearly just see the person making. Today's drink. 
could be a cat or something, I suppose. But whatever was crawling away, she would have clearly seen it because she looks in that direction. Look. There you go. You saw the figure crawl past and she's clearly looking at it right there. Not convinced. Sorry, Anna Banana. Try again. Debunked. Let's try this one. Spooky moment. Man's soul leaves his body caught on video after he drowns in Filipino River. Oh, well, that's sad, isn't it? That bit looks fake. This bit where the, where the main figure walks past looks fake. Looks like it's superimposed. There's something about the animation of it that looks... It looks like it's it's been superimposed onto the video afterwards. There's something about that animation. I can't really say what it is. It's, you know, sometimes you just see an animation, it feels off. It feels like they've tried to make it look real, but it hasn't quite worked. No, I can't I can't quite explain what it is, but there's something off about the animation. It doesn't look quite human. But there was another bit slightly late. I don't know if this was later on in the video. <laughs> What I imagine's happened here is they filmed a video and they've captured that weird figure and it hasn't been convincing enough of people so they've then someone's gone back and tried to put a, this far clearer figure over the top and it hasn't quite worked. Um, but what I'll call your attention to is there's something here if you can see like a, a light, it's it's some kind of weird way the light's reflecting on the camera. It's creating these weird artifacts of like vertical beams of light by the looks of it. I don't know if that isn't just a similar beam of light reflecting off something else which is moving. Possibly like a vehicle or something up here that you can't quite see on the camera. That's my suspicion, because there's a very similar beam of light here, reflecting off something else. I believe, and this is a bold accusation, this bit was genuinely recorded, and this bit was added after the fact. This looks like a dodgy animation to me. Anyway, that's what I think. Um, this is a spooky moment. A woman claims she saw the soul of a man leave his body as he drowned in a river. It has upset the family of the man, I bet it has. They are so upset. I recorded people trying to save him, I didn't expect to see that. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Maybe my debunking explanation is not quite right, but there is something quite off. Yeah, it, it, it looks fake to me. It looks deliberately faked as well. Oh, NBC's removed their weird news section. I guess the world has become so weird that they don't need a weird news section anymore. Here we go. Blind mystic Baba Vanga's predictions for 2021 include mysterious disease for Trump and cancer cure. Let's have a look. So this will be good because we can look back on this in the future and then we can see if it's uh, if these predictions are right or not. The legendary blind mystic who predicted 9-11 and Brexit despite dying years earlier has made her 2021 revelations from beyond the grave. At the beginning of the 21st century, humanity will get rid of cancer. And as President Donald Trump leaves the White House, he will apparently suffer from a mysterious disease that will leave him deaf and cause brain trauma. Europe's economy will fall and an assassination attempt will be carried out against Russian President Vladimir Putin and Islamic extremists will stage an attack in Europe they will use an arsenal of chemical weapons against Europeans. Petrol production will stop and the earth will rest. I wonder though, she's seen this, I wonder if that's something to do with um, the virus because of the lockdown and everything, people have been not using their petrol as much and the earth has had a kind of rest all through 2020. She says that in 2021 a dragon will take over the planet, three giants will unite 
some people will have red money. Okay, well, I can kind of see where this is going. Uh, she thinks, within the next 200 years, we will have made contact with aliens. Life in the cosmos will be discovered. And suddenly it will be clear how life on Earth first appeared. Well, we did have that, um, oh, I can't remember what his name was. The guy, the guy who was, uh, was he like, yeah, this was it. Former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows about it. A galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are. I don't know, it seems like we're getting closer to something like that. Maybe this uh, this woman was onto something here. We'll see as time goes on how right she was with these predictions. Woman gets a thrill after spotting ghost looking right at her in eerie video. Let's take a look. Uh. All right. <laughs> So very cleverly, I think the ghost is down here, but very cleverly what the Mirror of Dawn have put a big massive banner over the video which completely blocks the ghost. I think if we just keep going, so it's gonna never end. Completely blocking out the sky. <laughs> Look at that. I mean did they not even think did they not even like double check the video after they were done? Completely blocking out the sky. Honest to God. Useless. Absolutely useless. Can you see it in the video? No, I can't. Okay. 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 Well, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly uh, pissed off now. I think my favourite was the uh, the ghost in the vents. I just like that story. The face looking through. It's it's, it's kind of good. I like, I like that one. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos today. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. The selection of ghost stories on these news sites is always a little bit lacking, I think. But hey. Maybe if we keep if we keep an eye on it, maybe something good will come up one day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.